Say hi, boys. Say hi. Hi, Andrea. Hello. Barnaby, Gus. Okay, now go play. Go play. There they go. Hey, Andrea, thanks for booking this video. Um, will I be releasing any new music or covers of songs in the future? Not, um, not releasing anything like on the internet per se, but I am working on a solo show um, that I'm gonna do at Feinstein's 54 Below on my birthday. So that'll be a fun, busy work birthday. Um, but I'm excited about it. I'm doing a bunch of country songs because I'm from Texas. So that should be fun. Um, thank you for that sweet, sweet um, compliment on my voice. That means a lot. Um, I have watched your covers of I Put a Spell on You in Bad Romance. Um, they're awesome. <laughs> I'm so glad that you love those songs um, and Halloween as much as I do. Um, I already told you what I'm doing for my birthday. Um, but I do share a birthday with um, Dr. Phil, um, with Zendaya, and there's one other. I don't remember. Um, oh, there's one other, but I forgot. It's... Oh yeah, it's um, Gloria Stefan. <laughs> so that's kind of fun. Um, my favorite song or character moment from the Halloween Hocus Pocus concert this past year was probably Carol Baskin and Joe Exotic. Um, it was such a fun day of shooting and um, I think Julia Madison is one of the funniest people that I know. Um, my favorite piece of clothing I like to wear is a hat that actually has my zip code from Texas on it, and I left it in Los Angeles. So Todrick Hall is keeping it, um, is keeping it for me so that I can grab it from him when I go back there. Um, a piece of advice that I would give you about having survivor's guilt about the pandemic is, um, think about all of the positive things that are gonna come out of what's gonna happen, you know, um, since we're all coming back to normal soon, um, think about the kind of theater that you'd be able to go see. Um, think about um, the like-minded individuals like you and me um, and other people in the theater community um, that are able to get back to work and the kind of art that you're gonna be able to create and see. So that's a piece of advice is think about the positive stuff. Because if we ruminate on the negative, then we just continue more negative thoughts. So I always think positive, positive, positive. Um, there's not really any other role that I'd like to perform in the opposite gender besides Winifred. It's, uh, I guess I haven't really given that a good thought, but I also think that if you um, identify as female, then you should probably play female roles. Um, I think what makes Winifred special is that she's a kooky character. She's, the way that Bette Midler does it in the movie is almost like drag. So, um, I don't know, it's, uh, yeah, I think Winifred's, Winifred's my girl. Um, if there a fun fact or hidden talent I have that not many people know. Some people know about it, but I do have a pretty loud tongue pop. I've always had that talent. I don't know why, but it's fun. Um, besides Winifred, are there any other characters from like fantasy types of series? Oh gosh, I've always wanted to play like a super hero, like a Spider-Man or a Batman is actually my favorite. So if there's another superhero series or a superhero musical that comes along, I would kind of love to tackle something like that, which would be really cool. Hopefully a queer forward story, you know? Um, but hey, thanks again for booking this video and um, I'll see you soon.